Good evening, good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi good teacher. Evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, good evening. I see you tired, teacher. Very, <laughs> very tired. Oh, what about you? Mm, tired, but happy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. How's everybody? Can you say hello on the chat, please? I have some issues with my glasses. Okay, I see only Brian's message on the chat. Can everybody say hello? Good evening. Hello, Nelson. Good evening. Okay. Nice, Douglas. How are you? Mm -hmm. I see more. I see Ricardo, Joanna, Doris, Andrea. Nice. Reactions as well. We can accept messages or reactions. Good. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. Hi, Laura. Okay. More people reactions. No more. Okay, Laura, there she is. Just smiling. Okay, good. Hi, David. Well, let me just. My goodness, today is the thirtieth of August. Yes. August the 30th today, isn't it? Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Sorry, good. sorry. Yes. September nice. coming here. <laughs> Almost Christmas. Oh, yes. <laughs> Almost in Christmas. I just smell the <laughs> turkey. The rest Hi. The smelling like Christmas. Yeah. All right, David, <laughs> not very happy. All right. Well, yeah, we've been studying daily routines. We've been talking about daily routines. So at the end of the session, yeah, you'll be able to talk about daily routines. We've been using the simple present, affirmative and negative statements, yes, no questions. All right. Just a refresh about the simple present. We use the simple present to talk about truth in the present. He works on Wall Street. She is 60 years old. We live in New York. We also use the simple present to talk about habits. Okay, I always drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Something happens. Okay, I always drink coffee at work. She gets up at 7 a.m. every day. They usually eat dinner at home. General truth, facts. Okay, general facts, general truth. Earth is not flat. The sun rises in the east. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And maybe, but not very common, but just maybe, we use the simple present for future the schedules for future for future timetables like my train arrives tomorrow we fly to paris on monday classes begin next week okay this is like a very rare very weird use of the simple present all right so here we have some photos but we're going to stop 
for now because of the attendance. Oh, Doris is sick. She has some reactions of being sick. Sorry, Doris. Sorry. One second, let me just open the attendance. Sometimes I get the, a lot of colors. All right. <clears throat> Ana Cristina. Present. Hello. Hello. Andrea Noemi. Andrea. Present. Hello. Hello. Me escucha. Yes. Ah, bueno. Well, Brian says he's going on his bike. Yes, nice. Uh, Christian Alexander. Christian, Christian. David Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Hey. Your favorite name is David because of your first name. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Doris, who is sick? Present. Hello. I'm sick. Yes, I hear you. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Douglas. Present. Hello. Hello. Edgar Mauricio. Edgar? He is not here. Stephanie Carolina. Hi. Present teacher. Hi, hi. Wait, hi. give me a second. I just want to remove something out right here. Okay, then we have uh Francisco Javier. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice. Then we have Gracia. Gracia. Hi, good evening. Hi. All right, home. Justito, ahorita. Right now. <laughs> Just right now. Yes. I, know, I understand. Now, oh my God. The traffic kills me. I just left my office like 20 minutes later because, because tomorrow is one of our uh, colleagues' birthday. And we have to decorate. Mm. So, in 20 minutes, the traffic. Sí, es increíble. Ah. Y cuando uno toma tajo es peor. Exactly. Yesterday, one hour para dar la vuelta al cerro. Literally. <laughs> ah, o sea que usted viaja por los chorros o el cerro Conce. No, el de San Jacinto. Tomé mm. como para bajar por la Matepec. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Because yesterday was terrible. But yes. anyways. Thanks. All right. Okay, after Gracia, we got Hector. Él se encuentra malito de salud. No se va a conectar ahora. He's sick. <laughs> Nos oh. quedó bebiendo la sopa de gallina. <laughs> At the end, probably, he invited us to his farm. Like, oh, McDonald had a farm. <laughs> In this case, it would be Don Hector had a farm. Okay, thank you for informing. Okay. We got Joanna. Present. Thank you, Jose Antonio. Jose Antonio, no. Right. Then we have Carla Janet. No. Laura Berenice. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Teacher, no sé si me mencionó, pero se me fue la señal en ese momento. It's true, Carla. Thank you. Are Present here. teacher. Aquí estoy. Hi, nice. Nelson, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ricardo. Present, Present teacher. Hello. Wendy, Geraldina. 
Present teacher. Hi. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Okay. Ready. <laughs> Bye. Antes de, de iniciar con, con el vocabulario, las temáticas y todo esto que conlleva la práctica del idioma, vamos a ver. Listos para el sufrimiento, la torture. <ríe> ok. Ready, ready, ready. A ver, <ríe> sí, este, bueno. Surprised. No, solo un reminder, un recordatorio. Remember that this is the week number two. When we finish the second week, we have to take, I mean, first we have to finish and complete all the activities from the platform. Unit one, unit two, and the exam. Because after the week two, we have the first exam, which is the middle term exam. Es como, llevamos Teacher, medio curso. Yes. Podría repetirlo en español, disculpe. Sí, que al terminar la segunda semana, tenemos que haber terminado unidad uno y unidad dos. Y hacer el examen. Todo eso está en la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que para los que todavía no están como muy familiarizados, vayan echándole un ojo, sí, una ojeada más detalladamente. Y después de esa semana ya deben haber completado la sección 1 y la sección 2 y el examen. Que es ¿Qué día el, es el examen? Lo pueden hacer pues el viernes propiamente. O sea, mañana <ríe> el viernes nada más. O sea... Si usted, digamos, por... Sí, el examen está en la plataforma. Sí. La tarea, la siguiente, habilita ya el laboratorio. Sí, sí, sí. sí, sí. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Justamente al terminar la unidad 2, ahí está el examen. Si usted, digamos, puede avanzar ahora, mañana, y mañana lo quiere hacer, ya el viernes está free, lo pueden hacer. O si hay, digamos, un caso extremo que no lo lograran hacer por así motivos de fuerza mayor... Bueno, es que se les va a cerrar o que, o que ya no, no lo van a poder hacer. Lo pueden hacer, digamos, sábado. Pero de preferencia al terminar la segunda semana, terminar también unidad 1, unidad 2 y examen. Que es el examen de medio tiempo. O sea, medio curso, llevamos el primer examen. ¿Yes? Yes. Miss, I have a question. Uh -huh. Um, afecta la nota si nos retrasamos, digamos, si lo hacemos el sábado. No. No, no precisamente, pero sí podría ser que los supervisores vayan a pasar notas y ven que usted no tiene la nota, por el momento le van a poner nada. <ríe> y sí ah, le bueno. va a afectar en el, en el, por el momento le va a afectar en el promedio. Sí. Pero si después lo, lo logra hacer, pues ellos vuelven a revisar y le van a pasar la nota. Mm, mm. Bueno, gracias. No problem. Ok. ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿No? ¿Seguros? ¿Sure? Bye. Es un yes. recordatorio, ¿verdad? De reminder. Okay, okay. Okay. Todo el mundo estaba hablando de los daily routine y es tan importante saber decir o communicate in English que es lo que uno hace cada día. Esto ya es como un repaso, más bien dicho. What do you do during the day, in the morning? What do I do? What I do is, what time do you take a shower? What time do you get up? What time do you have lunch? What time, okay, what do you do? Bye. Esto es como introduction, nada más. One of my daily routine is, como otra frase que también podemos usar como para introduce, como para introducir las actividades que hacemos. One of my daily routine is I always have lunch at 12. In the morning, I take a shower before I go to work. I wake up at 7 a.m. I wake up at 4. I wake up at 5. 
I wash my hands three times a day. I usually have breakfast at 8 a.m. I usually have breakfast at work, right? I sometimes cook a dinner. I never um drink coffee at night, for example. So these are like different activities that you do or that, I mean, you would like to mention in a daily routine. Okay, these are just examples, don't worry. Pero, ahora se viene un poquito el reto para hablar de la tercera persona. Obviamente, esta chica ya está describiendo su daily routine. Right? Aquí hay que hacer el match porque las figuritas no coinciden. Pero después que hayamos hecho el match, vamos a decir, in the morning, yes, she, y hacer que el verbo vaya en tercera persona. She brushes her teeth. She goes to work. She has breakfast. She gets up. Right? And then, aquí continúa. In the afternoon, she, sorry, she does exercise. She listens to music. She has lunch. She studies and does homework. In the evening, she uh -huh, takes a shower, she cooks dinner at night, she has dinner, she watches series, and she goes to bed. Right. Es so, como más o menos para practicar el ponerle tercera persona. Okay? So, para empezar... Acá ustedes pueden hacer esto. Digamos que... Wait a minute. Por alguna razón no me deja mover el término. Ok, let's see. She... Has lunch. Yes. She yes. does exercise. <ríe> ok. Recuérdense, el verbo es el que está en rojo, pero para tercera persona tiene que cambiar. Right? She listens to music. She studies and does homework. Right? Que pueden compartir, pueden hacer con líneas o pueden, pues, reescribirlo acá para el caso si ustedes quisieran. Yes, like, she has lunch. Yes. Pero si no, pues lo pueden hacer con líneas. Igual yo les voy a compartir las imágenes so that you can practice. Yep. Questions? No questions? No question. Perfect. Okay. This is just to warm up. Yes. Let's go. Mm -hmm.
Hola, buenas noches. Hi. Good evening. Buenas noches. ¿Qué vamos a hacer hoy? Bueno, el WhatsApp mandaron la, la imagen. Porque ahí hay que cambiarlo por she, ¿verdad? Ajá, eh, la primera okay. sería... She get she up. Have... At... No, she has lunch. She has... ¿A dónde? ¿Cuál la imagen está viendo? <risa> la segunda. Ajá. ¿Los segundos no, están viendo? No, en no, la primera. Ah, esa Ajá. es la que dice teacher. Sí. Y la primera sería, I get up, no, she get up at seven, fifteen minutes. She get up at, uh -huh. mm. Y ahí sería, get, ¿verdad? Get, porque es ella. Sí, es ella, correcto. Después sería, I brush my teeth, creo que es en... Sería... Lavo mi diente, creo que es. She brush. She perdón. Ajá. My teeth. She brush my teeth. Pero sería sí, brushes. Brush, correcto. Mm -hmm. La otra sería... Mm -hmm. She go to... She uh -huh. goes. She goes to work. No, she get dressed. O sea, que primero se va a cambiar, va. Uh -huh. Oh, es cierto, ¿verdad? She get dressed. She get dressed. She, she get dressed. She get dressed. dressed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What she gets. She get dressed. Así es. Y, y después en she go to work. She goes. Goes. Uh -huh. She goes to work. lo que acabo de decir. Ajá. Okay. Bueno, hablo. Ahí, ahí los escucho yo. Ok, Ibrahim. Ok, Nelson. Defendamos ahorita, rescatemos nuestro grupo. <risa> De modo nos tocó. ¿Verdad? ¿Quién yeah. más estamos? Somos cuatro. Ajá, Brian, oh. Nelson, ajá, ah, yo y la teacher. Este, ok. ¿Quién empieza? Who is her? Honestamente me está costando porque yo no he, no he descargado el material ese. El, ah, ok. El, ajá, entonces, bueno, y aparte que no, no, no hay mucho tiempo en el día. No, Voy a revisar las clases anteriores, creo que ella puso algo. Bro, broches, más vale mi Ah, sí, ella colocó en, cuando explicó el simple perfecto, aquí tengo anotado, eh, sale como por el ejemplo finish, pone, entonces uh -huh. termina en e, e, SH, entonces coloca S al final. S, ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces finish. Brushes, brushes, ah, Ajá, entonces a esa creería yo de que también se le colocaría el ES. Uh -huh, por eso, eso sería con S, brushes. Porque termina en SH. Uh -huh. Pero no sé qué opina. O sea, que le ten... o sea que le tenemos que poner lo que le hace falta también. Sí, 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 exacto. O sea, tenemos que identificar con qué figura va y también tenemos que... Es que, que como si, si le cambiamos el, el A y por el chi, ajá, cambiaría. Todas, todas van a cambiar porque ajá. con el A los verbos no cambian, pero si utilizamos chi chi, va a cambiar. Ajá, pero igual y si, utilizamos. Y si digo, she has brushed my teeth. Sí, no, no, eso no. Mm. Eso has, no. Eso sería como ella me, me se...
pitcher. Hi. How do you say llevo mis hijos al colegio? I take my children to school. ¿Cómo? I take my take. children. I take my children take. to school. Y recogerlos es pick up. I pick up my kids from school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I pick them up. Thank you. Her lunch. Entonces sería she has lunch. <coughs> has, has, ¿verdad? Sí, she has her lunch. No, she has lunch nada más. Eh, the second sería she studies and does her her homework she is Sí, me es, ajá, studies, ajá, studies. Studies. And, and does her homework. And does. Uh -huh. Her homework, no se les olvide. En la tres... Sería, she listens, si no me equivoco, no sé, ¿qué dicen ustedes? En la tres. En la tres. Uh -huh. El verbo. Sí. Dresses. Ajá, uh -huh. sería, she get dressed. Ajá, uh -huh. get dressed. Sí, para que Y la última sería, she has breakfast. Ah, y faltó la de she goes to work. Ah, y she, she goes Solo que... she goes to work. Ajá. Estoy, estoy viendo algo. Ajá. Que es she brushes, she teeth, porque sí, la zona, es... y aquí dice I'm brood my teeth, entonces ya no eres my teeth, porque ya estamos hablando en tercera persona, entonces tendría que ir diferente. Es que her, her, en, her en la de she, she brushes, Ah, she brush. Ajá. She brush her teeth. Ajá, sí. Y brush iría con E. Sí. Ajá. Ajá. Pero no my teeth. Ah, no, no. Iría her teeth. Ella. No entendí. Sí, sí, porque si no diría ella... Cepilla mi diente. <ríe> si lo dejamos con mi tita. Ajá, exacto. Ajá, sí, ajá ahí será. Vaya, en de after, ¿no? Oh, boy. Vean. She has lunch. She has lunch. She has lunch. Lunch. Luego, she studies. Uh -huh. And she does her homework. Uh -huh. Her homework. Uh -huh. Her homework. Uh -huh. Her homework. Uh -huh. What? I I don't remember the this verb. In uh, el only es creo que sería así. Ajá, ese quedaría. She has dinner. She uh... goes to bed. Y acá no sé si es she watches. Watch, sí. Ah, yes.
I believe what watches ES ES uh -huh. uh, watches she watches series sería she goes to work uh -huh. Ahí, ahí no cambiaría porque uh, to, to work sería nada. Ajá, pero se le agregaría la ES. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, ES sería... porque termina en O. Ajá. Uh -huh. Según la regla. Pero ah, también sí. sí. Ah, pues sí se le puede agregar el OCLO, aunque tenga el AT. Ah, siempre sí. se le agrega. Sí, pero será que el OCLO. Solo significa hora o es en punto, no. No, es eh, hora en general. En general, ah. Oh. Sí, es como oh. que hay que dicho, hay que at 7, 15 uh -huh. o'clock. O sea, son las 7 y cuarto, 7 y 15. Uh -huh. Sí, en eso me, me cuesta un poquito todavía. Cuando llegamos ahí, no quiero. Ver. Está <risa> mucho lo de la hora. Sí. Ana, antes puedo desbrar la hora. Breakfast, eh, desayuno. Eh, y se cambiaría porque es, bueno, este verbo, ¿quién, este ¿quién, verbo ¿quién? se iba a cambiar, ¿verdad? She has sería. Breakfast. Sí. She has. Sí. Ajá, el, que es, ella tiene. Ella, ella tiene. Uh -huh. En el cuerpo has... Desayuna o ella desayuna, no sé. Ella o tiene. Desayunar eh... o comer. Pero para decir ella, vaya, ella yo tengo mi desayuno. Ella. Ella, desay... ella tiene un desayuno, ¿no? She has breakfast. Sí, así, ella... porque. Breakfast es desayuno. Ajá, desayuno. Ella tiene. No, pero es que no podemos decir ella tiene un desayuno o sí. Ella, ella toma un. No, ella toma un desayuno. Yo tengo. Se pero le agrega final... la S nada más al hat. Pero hay hat breakfast, ¿qué significa? Hay hat. Sí, eso sí, dos. La otra es she has. Y la otra es she studies. Raj. Es she que have es como el verbo de la oración. No sé si recuerdan que ella dijo que la estructura era sujeto, verbo y complemento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando ya lleva el verbo, digamos, brush, que es cepillar, entonces uh -huh. en, en ese no se va a poner ni has ni have, ya el verbo ya está, el brush. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando el verbo, no sé si recuerdan la clase donde dijo que cuando los verbos terminaban en in, ch, s, sh, o, x, se uh -huh. le agregaba es al final. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso brush pasa a ser brushes. Brush. Ah, brushes. Ah, ok. No me, yo me acuerdo de eso. Entonces, no acuerdo de entonces sería, ahí sería, she brushes my thing. Her, her. Porque toda la oración cambia a ella. She brushes her teeth. Porque ahí va a sustituir el, el eh. my por her, el mío por el de ah, ella. Her. Ah, she brushes her teeth. My. I have a question. Hi. Who is the question? Es que ahí está la... No, ahí está la Miss, pero le quería preguntar si en el caso de Cook, si pasa a ser Cooks. Pero creo que no me escucha. Vaya, ¿otra duda, Wilmer? Pues ahí vamos. <ríe> En la otra, sí, vea, she gets dressed. Ah, she, ¿cuál es? La, la, la de, la tercera, she gets dressed. Ah.
Ah, tres, ah, uno, dos, tres. Ah, sí, está, tres. Uh -huh. Miss, are you here? No está. No está la mía. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que aquí estaba como aquí me aparece en el, en el grupo. Quizás sí, entró, pero ya no. Vaya, y la otra, Wilmer, she has breakfast. She has a breakfast. Ah, she has. Ah, ok, she has a breakfast. Eh, mira, esto yo siento que cuando acabar, cuando se ve el has. El have, perdón, y se está hablando sí, de, sí, acaban has, de lo que usted dijo, de él, ajá, sí, él, sí, ella correcto. y eso. Sí. Siempre hay que, hay que, hay que sí, modificarlo. Eh, ajá, hay que modificarlo porque se está hablando de ella, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque ahí, ahí se está hablando, I have, de uno. Uh -huh. Entonces, ajá, ya que está hablando de ella, se tiene que, she has, ajá. She has a breakfast. Ok. And, uh -huh, I see, but, uh, uh, but in este que es, I go to work, ya que se está hablando de ella, sería she, she go, she goes, no, she yes. go. No, así como lo dijo al principio. She goes. Uh -huh. She goes to work. Uh -huh. Y lo va a pronunciar she goes. She, she goes, goes to work. Uh -huh. She goes to work. She goes. She goes to work. No es she she do she do go she she do, no. do ya es otro verbo de hacer. Ah, ah okay. Ajá, y goes she does, es como de ir. Ajá, Entonces vale. she does she does to work. No goes con g. Goes ah goes ajá. goes eh, eh, al final. Es, ajá, ahí solo está en go, she pero goes. como para, para, tercer, para tercera persona pasa con es. Uh -huh. uh, she, 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 she goes to work. She goes to work. Ok. Es más, creo y... que se pronuncia así como she goes to work. She goes to work. She goes to work. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, el de dress sería siempre para ella. She get. Con, y ahí a get se le, se le agrega S, no va. No, solo la S. Uh, she gets dress. Uh -huh. She gets. She, she. Ok. Y dress es como de, de traje. Sí, es vestirse. Ah, vestido. Es que solo sin, sin el S, sin el complemento es vestido, ¿verdad? Sí, no. sí, 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 es vestido. The dress es, es cambiarse, vestirse. Ok. Miss, hello. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, en el caso de cook, verdad que solo se le agrega la S, solo es cooks. Yeah, she cooks. All right. Thanks. All right, no problem. Miss, ¿hay algún listado que usted nos recomiende? Me imagino que eso quizás si vamos adelante, pero un listado que mm -hmm. nos recomiende como para, para ver los verbos cuando cambian en simple present para terceras personas. Se lo voy a conseguir, se lo voy a compartir. There Gracias. Should be, there should be one. Thanks. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay, okay. Ya casi regresan todos. Aquí están. All right.
Well, she was describing her routine, but we were describing her routine in third person, right? So the first one is she gets up, right? She gets up at 7.15. All right. Next. She brushes her teeth. Next one. Mm -hmm. She get, gets, gets dressed. She gets dressed. She gets dressed. Uh -huh. Next one. She has breakfast. She has breakfast and she goes to work. She goes to work. Then in the afternoon, <laughs> she has lunch. She has lunch. lunch. Then she studies and does her yes. homework. Exactly. She studies and does her homework. Then she listens to music. She listens to music and she, uh -huh. she does, she do she does exercise. exercise. She does exercise. In the evening, she has a shower and then cooks dinner. Right. She has a shower or she takes a shower. But here it suggests she has. She has a shower and then she cooks dinner. At night, she has diner. Oh, she she watch series. She watches series. Then she has diner. She has dinner, she has dinner. and the last one. She goes she to bed. It. She goes to bed. All right. Yes. In English, we say dinner, right? Sí existe la palabra diner, pero diner se refiere a un restaurante, a una cafetería. Como come diner, okay? Oh. Yes, but... Dinner um, is at home. Ajá, uh -huh, at home or the food is dinner and double N. Diner is only with one, and it refers to a small restaurant. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Other activities that you probably do, play video games, play a game, go shopping, surf the internet, listen to music, watch TV, practice sporting. And sometimes we say free, free time activities, right? Like, when you have free time, you do these activities, right? What do you do in your free time? I play video games, I play games, I go out with friends, I listen to music, I watch TV, I, I watch movies, I surf the internet, I practice a sport, I do exercise. Bye, van a escribir en el chat al menos tres actividades que disfrutan hacer en su free time. What do you do in your free time? What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Si me preguntan a mí, I love. <laughs> Let's see. In my free time. I take a nap. <laughs> I go out with friends. I read books. I... I surf the internet. I watch movies or series or videos on YouTube. Uh -huh. I play video games. David plays video games. David plays the guitar and he cooks desserts. Oh, wow. No interesa eso de los desserts, David. <laughs> I cannot cook desserts, but I. I am a fan of desserts. What is your favorite dessert, David?
three. Uh -huh. I love to go shopping. I like to train at the gym. I love to travel with my twin girls. All right. I watch series. What is ads? David, I don't get it. I like to eat por tres nombres, Ricardo, que esto. <laughs> Bye. Una cosa que nos gusta hacer, pero que usualmente hacemos in our free time. I play in sports. I listen to music. I play video games. I go shopping. Uh -huh. I make desserts. I play instruments. Uh, I play a game called Clash Royale. <laughs> okay. Ah. What is it? <laughs> really? Wow. Majo's desserts. Oh my God. Bueno, si quieren ver, sigan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the desserts that have fruits, especially strawberries. Okay, I watch series in Netflix. I like to watch series. I watch Netflix and sleep. I love to eat again. All right, I play video games. I play games. Okay, Clash Royal. I watch series, I love running, I love dinner. Ay, my dog, wait a second. I'm sorry, it's my neighbor's dog. Okay. Uh huh, I love dinner. I like to go shopping. I like to drink coffee. I listen to music. I go to the beach. Oh, wow. I watch TV. I love watching anime. I like running. I go to the discotheque with my friends. Hmm. Next, in my free time, I enjoy taking naps, listen to music, go to the beach with motor on the motorcycle. Can see the sunset, the sunset part too. I love cooking. I love playing with my dog. I love sleeping. I like to play soccer. I watch drama. Okay, yeah, I like to watch drama. What happened, Nelson? I play soccer. I wash my work clothes. I watch series. That's the yellow, Miss Francisco. Punished. I like to watch movies. I like to watch series. I love resting. I love rest. Okay, series and Netflix. All right. Very good. Alguien has falta un? Somebody? Somebody still pending to share the information about free time activities? No? Sure? Vaya, tienen que estar pendiente de el chat. Y me van a decir, por ejemplo, el name. ¿De quién es que mencionó que le gusta train at the gym? Who trains at the gym? Stephanie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who? Um, uh, let's see. Who loves playing video games? Mm -hmm. Nelson. Nelson, that's right. Teacher. Okay. Hey. Pero, por ejemplo, si la actividad de ir al gimnasio. No es parte de uh, free time activity, sino que es como una rutina diaria. Uh -huh. uh, 
se ocupa siempre como para ponerlo en, en tiempo libre. Porque igual es algo que puede omitir si usted así lo considera, o sea, él, ah, okay. ajá, pues, él lo hace porque, pues. Digamos, hay tiempo libre, pues obviamente. Ajá, no alcanza, okay. digamos, la cuota. Ya, ya, ya. Pero por ejemplo, no el como... trabajo no puedo decir, no, no voy a ir. Hay gente okay. que lo hace, ¿verdad? pero bajo otras circunstancias. Gracias. Ajá. O oh, hay gente que también lo hace como parte de sus hobbies, para no verlo como un sacrificio, porque puede ser que un día vaya a correr, otro día vaya a nadar, otro día vaya a nadar, y así. Varies. Ajá. All right, let's see. Who says that he or she likes to drink coffee who drinks coffee mm -hmm. Andrea creo Andrea drinks coffee in her free time who who takes a nap or who takes naps who mentions that he or she Douglas. takes naps. Douglas, yes. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Who, who sings in his or her free time? Sings. Sings like. Bidi, bidi, bam, bam. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Brian. Brian sings. Yes. And he draws as well. Yeah. Okay. Very artistic. Let's see. Who? Que nos haga una demostración. <laughs> A demonstration. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Who loves watching anime? Who mm -hmm. loves watching Brian. anime? Brian? Yes, Brian. Really? Alexander. And Alexander, too. Because <laughs> yeah, Brian, Brian says doramas, right? Oh, in anime as well. All right. Yes. Okay. Who? Ah, this is an easy one because I was joking about it. Who makes desserts? Me. David. David. <laughs> Pero se me hace que este business no es de David porque dice majos, desserts. Así se llama mi hija, María ah, José. <laughs> Entonces el business de su hija. Es la representante de la edad. <ríe> y los, y yeah. los ingresos, los profits, para no son para, para la, para la mano. Para Miguelito. <ríe> <ríe> nice. Ok, solo uso la, ma la imagen de la mano. How old is Majo? Exacto, exacto. How old is she? Uh, she, she four years. She's four. Yes. She's little. Yeah. So Todavía she no puede it. contar por uh -huh. esto. Yo le cuento. <laughs> Usted le lleva el accounting, ahí. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and do you have deliveries? Yes. Really? Yeah. And what, and what type of desserts do you make? Cake? Okay. Pie? One or two days. Oh, really? Ah, it's the pie, brownies, cheesecake. Oh, wow. They notes? They notes? <laughs> 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 you get a cheesecake. A strawberry cheesecake. ¿A dónde es que vi? Where are you from? Por favor, repeat. San Salvador, right, David? <laughs> 
Every San Salvador. All San Salvador. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, for me, the delivery is going to be like two quarters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because yeah. I live near David. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Ya lo voy a copiar de acá. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I follow you. Yes, yeah, sounds yeah. good. All right. Oh, me. So, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> sounds good. Actually, it's a good business because many people love desserts. Okay. Uh -huh. I... Yes, okay. everybody loves desserts, I think. Watch the brownie people. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Like. <laughs> okay, give me one second. All right, one second, please, one second. I need to open this. The file. Okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Para la graduación, eh? <clears throat> For the graduation. True, 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 true. Okay. One little second. Here we go. Oh my God. Yeah, I see. I see all this. Okay. Bye. We have this conversation to describe your partner's daily routine. Ask a classmate what is your daily routine. We have been talking about this. So, it's something that we keep practicing, okay? What do you do on weekends? Like similar, what do you do on the free time, right? So listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy, or Kathy, as you wish to pronounce, is very busy. Really? Who's Kathy or who's Katie? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesdays, on Wednesdays, sorry, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends, she doesn't work. <laughs> she doesn't work for the company on weekend. Oh, she rests probably. All right, one more time. One second. Let me just get this. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. What? Kathy is very busy. Really? Who's cat? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends? All right. <ríe> Veamos. Tómese unos minutos para tratar de leer toda la conversación y si tienen alguna duda, pues acerca de vocabulary or pronunciation lo podemos practicar before we practice with our partners. Ok. Ok, teacher. Take your time. Perdón, hay que leer por lo de la pronunciación. Sí, léanlo para ver si tienen alguna duda o alguna dificultad con pronunciation o con el significado de alguna palabra. 
por vocabulary. Y luego, la comparto. Una vida en la que dice, casi en las últimas que dice bookkeeper. Bici. Bookkeeper. ¿Esto? Donde dice Cindy. Ajá. Uh -huh. She sends some emails to the bookkeeper. El contador, uh -huh. to the accountant. Uh -huh. Miss. Uh -huh. Is. Es schedule. Schedules. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo que decir? Es que. Schedule. Es que. Schedule. Es que. Schedule. Ah, es schedule. Exacto. Thanks. Uh -huh. Obviamente los británicos sí lo pronuncian como schedule. <risa> Igual. Ah, yo tengo el acento británico. <risa> sí, pero lo más común que se ve encontrado en este lado del mundo es schedule. Es Thanks. como la palabra de es, eh, ¿Cómo es? ¿Es, es shudo? ¿Algo así? Es como los apuntes. Es que. Ajá, como es que. Schedule. Oh, shuttle. Ajá, ajá. Un shuttle bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí, algunos palabras que tienen ligeramente modificada la pronunciación. If it's British or if it's American. Yes. Any other word? ¿Alguna no. otra palabra? No? Are you sure? Bueno. Let's practice. Ok. Y luego que hayan practicado, pueden igual este re reescribir las actividades que hace Katy en cada uno de estos días, ¿ok? Miss, Miss. Yes, tell me. No sé si ya dijeron esta, pero no escuché. Arranges. Arrange. Arranges. Arranges. Ya, yeah, como... Arranges. arranges. Ajá, ahí sí la... Va un poquito por arranges. arranges. Porque es, ajá, hay dos áreas. Arranges. Arrange. Arranges. Arranges. Arranges meetings. All right. Thanks. No problem. Wait a minute. Let's... Wait a second. Vamos a buscar otros partners to work with. And let's go. Hola. 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 Bueno, entiendo Yo... que vamos, Ajá. comprendo que vamos a llenar el, los cuadros, el de abajo donde están los días, de acuerdo a las actividades que hace Katie. Aunque ahorita creería de que es solo practicar la pronunciación de todo lo que es la conversación. Y después vamos a, porque no ha enviado, al grupo no ha, solo envió la, la conversación. Entonces uh -huh. no ha enviado el otro, creería de que, cuadro. que, ajá, que el cuadro creería de que lo vamos a llenar después que practiquemos la pronunciación de la, de la conversación de ellas. Vaya, este... ¿Quién sería Janet ahorita? Si quiere voy a comenzar yo, a ver. Vaya, intentémoslo. Ok, eh, ok. Así como está, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, good morning, Cindy. Who are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Really? Who is Katie? 
The new secretary, her escape, schedule, the her. Teacher, ¿cómo, ¿cómo era la palabra? Es schedule. Sí, schedule. Okay. Schedule. Okay. Here is schedule is very thin. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she greatest greatest. Creo que. Dale, voy a empezar yo. Yes. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katy is the is but Katy is very busy. Really? Who is Katy? Katy, uh, the new secretary. Uh, hair is, I'm sorry. Uh, the hair scroll is very is very thin. On Monday, she made many phone calls. Later, uh, she write report about the production. Si querés, volví a decir esa parte, pero tratemos de... Bueno, Ajá. yo creo que así se pronuncia, va. Te voy a decir cómo creo yo que se pronuncia para que trates de pronunciarlo así. El, el cédule que se escribe ahí se pronuncia skill, skill, sketchel. Ajá, sketchel, como... No es... sé cómo es. Schedule. Schedule. Ok, intentémoslo. Entonces, uh, desde el inicio. Ah, yeah. Y el otro sería, her schedule is very tight. Tight, ok. Ajá, tight. Listo. Si gustan, lo practicamos nuevamente, pero practicando, eh, cambiando los papeles. Later, she writes report about the production. And what does she do the other days? On, week, uh, on Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranged meetings. Mom. Okay, again. The new secretary, her schedule, is very things on monday she makes many phone calls later she writes reports about the production and what does she do and what does she do the other days on wednesday she sends some emails to the bookkeeper and on friday she arranges meetings she is a bossy. And on weekends? Yeah. Okay. Finish. It's your turn, uh, Christine. Okay. Uh, no sé cuál. Schedule. On Monday, she's made money for, for cat. Um, let she some Wednesday. 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 Me siento que me estoy equivocando. Wednesday. No hay problema. Wednesday. On Wednesday, she sent some email to the broker. Bro, bookkeeper. 
Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Book. Bookkeeper. 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 Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, fresh. Um. Arrange. 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 Arrange meetings. Gracias, compañeros, por ayudar. <laughs> dale, she dale. needs to do it on um, weekend. Weekend. Sí, es que hay unas palabras weekend. que... Uh -huh. Vaya. Vaya. Dale entonces con Richard. Ahora yo voy a... Este. Es que yo... ¿Qué? ¿Qué, perdón? ¿Qué? Es que yo... 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 Um, I make many phone calls, letters, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On um, Wednesday, she sends to an email to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she uh online meeting. She is so busy. In on weekends? Está bien. Nice. All right, everybody finished. Yes. yes. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We have from the first one. Sorry, we got Joanna, Carla, Miguel, and Wilmer, right? Okay. Let's <laughs> listen to Wilmer and Carla. Yes. I I. Uh, by Janet. Yes, you are Janet. Uh, Carla okay. is Cindy. Ready, okay, Carla? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Go. Okay. Uh, good morning, Cindy. Who are you? Fine. I had many things. This week, but Kerry is very busy.
Really? Who is Katy? You know, she said I feel it's true, it's very easy on Monday. She made many phone calls. Later, she write reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On um, Wednesday, she sent some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she uh, arranged meeting, meetings. She is so busy and on weekend. In the weekends? Okay, <laughs> good. <And> on weekends? <laughs> nice. Yes. Reactions. Everybody clap, 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 and stop. <laughs> All right, good. From the other group, we got Andrea, David, Gracia, and Nelson. Volunteers or democracy? Okay. In the second group, Andrea, David, Gracia, Nelson. Who? Who is the volunteer for the second group? Probably we can choose Nelson and Andrea. <laughs> Ready for the conversation with Nelson? Mm, Janet, Siri. Okay. You want to start. Nelson, are you ready? Nelson, you are going to be Cindy. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Really? She is Cathy? And what does she do the other days? Wednesday, she sent some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arrived at the meeting. She's so busy and weekend. She's so busy and on weekend. Okay, nice. Reactions? I don't see a reaction, people. Children. <laughs> okay. Thumbs up. All right. That's my equipo. <laughs> Recognizing the hard work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number three, we got Doris, Douglas, Francisco, and Wendy. What about Francisco and Wendy? Ready? Ready. Okay, Francisco? Ready. Go ahead. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Cathy is very busy. Ready? Who is Cathy? The new secretary has her schedule is very thick on Monday. She makes many phone calls, letter, letter. She writes reports about the production. And one thousand. She do the other day. 
On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranges meeting meetings. She is so busy and on weekends. And on weekends. <laughs> All right, nice, excellent. Perfect. Wendy, <laughs> Wendy, la colombiana. Okay, is Wendy from Colombia? <laughs> no, okay. I'm from Chalatenango. Ah, oh, she's from Chalatenango, you see. Okay, in group number four, we just got Brian and Cristina. Brian, are you available now? Or shall we move to the group number five? Okay, on group number five, we got oh, Laura. What? Are you available now or should we move to group number five? No, 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 no. Come on. All right. So, Christy, are you ready? Okay. So, Christy was your partner, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready. One, two, three, go. Um, Janet or what? Yeah, you start. Okay. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine, uh, I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the productions. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday. She sends some emails to the bookkeeper and on Friday she's arranged meetings. She is busy. And on on weekends? She's so busy, right? And on weekends? And the oh, last group? busy. Yes. Okay. Like, like easy, busy. Laura and Ricardo, bro. We can listen to Laura and Ricardo, the last group. Ready? Okay. okay, okay. Okay, who starts? Um, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I had many things to do, to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes a report about the productions. And what does she do the other, other days? On Wednesday, she sends two emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. She's so busy on weekends? No weekends, very good. Weekend? Okay, nice. thank you. She rests. She takes care of her family <laughs> the weekend. Okay, good. ¿Lograron completar las actividades de Katie? Yes. What does she do on Monday? She makes many phone calls and she writes a report about the production. Right. Okay, Monday she makes many phone calls and she writes reports about the production. On Tuesday? Nothing. No, she doesn't do anything. No. <laughs> On Wednesday? She relaxes. She, okay. relax. she takes a nap. <laughs> On Wednesday? On Wednesday? Send, send some emails to the bookkeeper. She sends some emails to the bookkeepers. Okay. Okay. And on Thursday? Nothing. No uh -huh. information. <laughs> Maybe she's really busy, but it, it doesn't say here. And on Friday? And Friday, um, arrange meetings. She, she arranges, arranges meetings. meetings. Arrange meetings. Right. She arranges meetings. All right. And on the weekend? I don't know. She relaxes. She relaxes <laughs> again. <laughs> so she's not really busy. <laughs> No, because there's no information about that, right? Okay, for the third person, affirmative statements and negative statements. 
Remember that yesterday we talked about affirmative, but I, you, we, they. With the verb and for the negative, we don't. But now we talk about affirmative and negative, but with she or he. For the third person, right? She makes many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. It helps workers to be on time. It doesn't help workers to be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. All right. Here is the challenge. Complete the sentences with the verb in parentheses. Recordar la tercera persona. De esto hicimos varios ejercicios ayer. Y luego recordar el auxiliar en negativo. Acá, en las oraciones que son negativas, se le dan en el paréntesis la palabra not. Pero no es que van a poner Helen not call. No, eso no. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends, right? Yo recomiendo, esto es como practice, practice para que se le grabe. So, I recommend que primero lean las oraciones que están en el cuadro. Affirmative negative, affirmative negative. Entonces, de esa forma van a como a, a grabar en su mente cuál es la estructura correcta. Right, for affirmative, le agregamos S, for I, E, S, or E, S, al verbo, porque es third person. Y para el negative, utilizamos el auxiliary doesn't, y ya el verbo ya no debe cambiar, porque ya tenemos un auxiliary. Después de leer las sentences, pues ahí sí ya completamos el ejercicio. Yes? Questions? ¿No hay alguna duda? ¿Alguna question? ¿O oh, no? Ok, perfecto. Wait a minute. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Iniciamos. Sí, no, no sé si ya lo, lo respondieron. No, yo no. No, no yo no. Entonces respondámosla entre todos. Entre todos. Pues sí. Vaya, la primera es, he ordered everything in the office. Sería orders. Orders, orders, con ese con, al final. Con, con uh -huh. la de, uh, uh -huh. orders. Sí. The second. Hola, doesn't, sería, ¿verdad? Doesn't call. Doesn't. Ah, la tres. Doesn't call. Ah, son no es tres. doesn't. No es, no sé si, no sé si va así. No sé si es doesn't no, call. Doesn't. Es, en, es en la tres. Sí. Me he confundido. Ah, perdón. Ah, sí, la, la dos para dos. A mí me interesa. Ajá, a mí me interesa. Sería. Ask. 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 Así como está, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Así está, no me movería nada. Sí, porque son ellas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es Ash. Así como está. Así queda. Ask. La Helen otra. doesn't call. 
Yo creo que como ya Bell Dassen, creo que sí, ya no ya tienen no. que llevar la S. Creo. El, solo una consulta. El verbo es el que está entre paréntesis, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Gracias. Sí, que yo tengo una pregunta. Orders. Hello, go ahead. Este, ¿por qué ese seis, si hay seis cuestas, solo aparecen cuatro números y después repite uno, uno? Six questions. Hay un error. Hay <risa> un error porque han puesto tres uno. O sea, la numeración aquí gran, gran typo. No. <risa> I'm sorry. Nos quejaríamos con los proveedores sí, no, no, del material. No me había fijado. Didáctico. Yo no me había fijado hasta que después de la cuatro. ¿Y por qué estoy haciendo la uno otra vez? Dije. <risa> Funny. I'm sorry. Y en la 1, que es order, a ese hay que agregarle. Porque son ya dos personas. No, porque son dos personas, se toma como they. Ajá. Entonces, para eso tú la dejas como ask. Ask. Ajá. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. Ajá. Ajá. No sé qué opinan los demás. Eh, Alex, Francisco. Francisco, me pareció ver a Francisco. No, sí, es parece que va a ir. Sí, creo que tiene problemas con el inter. Oh, sí, sí, porque me pareció ver. Oh, so, uh, teacher, I have a question with oh, number okay. three. Ajá, eh, esa sí ya sería, entonces, porque como es él, en ella, entonces sería Dacen. Dasen Cal. Sí, pero es que no sé si, si el, el dos. Ajá. O sea, no sé si el dosent se pone como es, porque call, no sé si Ajá. es call it o, no. o es call. Dasen call. Like, doesn't, right. Dasen call. Like, if you already have the auxiliary, uh, the verb doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. It doesn't change the verb. Mm -hmm. Dasen. Ah, sí, solo es doesn't call. Ajá. Doesn't sin call. Ese. Sí, sin ese. Doesn't call. En ninguna de las dos lleva ese. Lo que pasa es que como que el verbo creo que es... es...
aplica sí porque porque si no aplica pues no lo vamos a hacer la hey, me interesa ask for the signature every Friday every every Friday She makes many dolls. She, she does make many dolls. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, una afirmativa. El que es negativo lo, lo hace con doncet. Doncet. Ajá, entonces, ajá. Entonces, ajá, la primera vez no llevaría nada, entonces solo sería he orders everything in the office. Así yes. sería. Uh, orders because he's. Hello. Complete. Yep. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hi. Yes. So, Complete. but it's not the, the clear for me about of the negative form. Not clear. Not yet. Mm, not much. <laughs> not much. But uh, but I but I think that that that's so understand. All right. Good. So let's try to complete this. Okay. Number one, first number one, because there are many number ones, okay? Orders. <laughs> orders, right? Because he orders. is the subject, so he orders. Okay. He orders everything in the office. Then Amy and Teresa ask. 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 Normal, right? Yep. Because it's they. Uh -huh. yep. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every Friday. Then we go with this Helen. No, Helen call. Doesn't, doesn't. That doesn't call. Sorry. Doesn't. No. doesn't call. Doesn't. Doesn't call. Doesn't I call. don't know if the space is enough. So, lo voy a poner aquí arriba para que no se vea montado, right? So Helen doesn't call the design department on when on weekend, sorry. Then we go with this one. She she cleans. Mm -hmm. She cleans our desks in the morning. Our desk in the morning, yeah. And this one I <clears throat> write. Normal, right? I write. Break. Uh -huh. right. A list with right. the things we need at 9 a.m. And Mario does it. Does it. Uh -huh. Doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Okay, wait a second. Mario doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Por alguna razón no me deja mover. Doesn't keep a record of the merchandise. He buys. 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 But he doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. So when you use a negative form, all verbs in a normal. Exactly. Okay. Lo que, so clear. Exactly. Lo que ya está, digamos, representado por la 
third person in this case is doesn't. Como ya tenemos un auxiliary el verb sigue en base form. Ya no lo cambio. Ya no le pongo S, E, S, ni nada. Aunque sea una oración de tercera persona. He doesn't like coffee, por ejemplo. She doesn't work on the weekend. All right? No more questions? No, teacher. Sure. No. Okay. Yeah. Very good. No more questions. Okay, for tomorrow, we still talk about routines, but especially on third person, because on third person, we need to practice so that we don't forget these little yes. details, right? About the S, about the auxiliaries, about affirmative, about negative, and also about questions, because we still have to ask yes, no questions. We do, and thus, okay? So right now I'm going to have the attendance. The last time we take the attendance today. Let me see, we'll go with Cristina. Christy. Hi. Andrea. Present. Uh, Thank you. Brian. You don't listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> but the recording must listen to you as well. I am Chris a dog. I know. <laughs> Christian. Listen. Hi. Christian, you prefer Alexander? Hi. Yes. yes. All right. Sorry. David. Hi, teacher. Hey. Doris. Present. Hey. Douglas. Good night. Hey, good night. Edgar, Mauricio. Not here. Stephanie, Carolina. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco, Javier. Present. Hey. Gracias, Marisol. Present. Hey. Good night. Good night. Hector Manuel. Oh, he's sick. Sorry. Joanna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio. No, no. Carla. Present. Thank you. Laura. Present. Thank you. Miguel Angel. Present, teacher. Hey. Nelson. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy. Present. Wilmer. Present. Good night. Okay, good night. Well, according to the schedule for the one on one session, yesterday was. Let me see. Doris. Doris' turn. So today we have Douglas' turn. Are you available, Douglas? Sure. All right. Well, the rest of the class go to rest. <laughs> okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Blessings. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. The good thing is that tomorrow for me is free day at work. <laughs> Your day off. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good Sweet night. Dreams. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. All right. All right, Douglas. Tell me, how have you been? 
Hi, teacher. Hi. Everything okay? I'm fine, yeah. All right, good. I'm tired, but okay. A difficult day. Uh, it's my free day, but <laughs> I, I have to do so many things in my house. Yes, I imagine. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay, anything? Well, actually, everything you can tell me about yourself in English, just for practice, remember? This is okay. a one-on-one -on -one session just to practice. And of course, we can um discuss or talk about anything related to the course because that's the objective or any doubts or any question and the recommendation we'll be discussing. If you can do it in English, we can do it in English. If you can partially in English or in Spanish, it's fine. But right now, let's just start with anything you can tell me about yourself in English. Okay. All right. My my full name is Douglas Walberto Sinfogo Leiva. Um, I am 39 years old. I I live with my my family. I share the home. I live in the second floor. Um, my parents and one one brother live in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, I live with my two kids. I am single father. As it is, Papa yeah. soltero. Yeah, mm -hmm. single father. Um, How old I... are your kids? What? How old are your kids? Ah, uh, yeah. My 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 boy have uh, is. How se dice eso? Is. Is yes. Is. Fifteen. No, sixteen years old. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my daughter is eleven years old. Eleven. Oh wow. Yeah. They're big now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How old were they when they stay only with you? Perdón, no le eso. ¿Cómo es? How old were the kids when you became a single father? Uh equal to six years. So your boy was 10 and the yeah. girl was seven? Yeah, just, just. They were little. Yeah, All right. it's hard, it's, it's a hard moment, but yeah. Well, you overcame already. Yeah. At this yeah. point, it's nothing fine. matters, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Okay, did they go to school? Now it's fine. Mm -hmm. Do the Sorry. children go to school? Yes, yes. In the morning yeah. or in the afternoon? Morning, in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Oh, that's why you were you were asking, how do you say I take my kids to school? I drop yeah. my kids to school and then yeah. I pick them up. And you yeah. pick them because up? It's my, because it's my daily routine. Oh, yeah, it's part of your daily routine. But do you pick up the kids or they no, go no, no. home by themselves? Uh, my... My boy have motorcycle. Oh, he rides a motorcycle? Yeah, she rides a motorcycle. So uh, he picks up his sister. No le entendí eso. Que si él se lleva la, a, la, a la hermanita. No, no, no. No. She is studies in different schools. Oh, different school. Because she's in bachillerato, ¿cómo se dice? In high school. In high school. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter is primary school in Sixth cuarto grade? grado. Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Fourth grade. All right, nice. Uh, so, personal, personal, ¿cómo se dice? El transporte escolar. Like a school bus. A uh, school bus. Mm -hmm. uh, pick up my, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow, what an interesting story. <laughs> and how about your experience learning English? What can you tell me about it? I I studied English. I go two two or three years in Regal mm -hmm. Place Corporativo. Mm -hmm. But I don't I I can't continue because I lost my job. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I I I I forgot all. <laughs> <laughs> Now you are you are recovering and refreshing. Yeah. Okay, English yes. again. That's interesting. Yeah. The good thing is that you never gave up. You continue. Sure. And, and do uh, you use English at work? A little. A little. Not necess not necessary, but. Mm -hmm. I want to learn Improve. because Perdón, se apagó el micrófono. <laughs> By accident. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No the problem. English is is uh language that I want to to practice Manage. and I manage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Italian, um, Portuguese tam también. Okay. So, After you learn English, you can learn any other language. First of all, because uh, you already I, know the experience. I start, I start Italian, but just a couple, a couple class. <laughs> really? Yes. On a platform. <laughs> Uh, with a, a friend. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I've been learning she, Italian. She, li she, she lives in Italian. Oh, she lives in Italy. She, she, oh, she lives in Italian. Italy, Italy. Italy. <laughs> Italy. Yes. Italy. Yes, I know some expressions, but I, I've been learning with an app. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I I haven't uh time. Yeah, you need time. Yeah, you need, you need time, time to practice, to complete the exercises, to record your voice. So yeah, yeah you do need time. My, my day start at four forty a.m. I go to room. I go to gym. So I I finish the I finish my day so tired. So tired, I imagine. So your schedule at work? What time do you start? What time do you finish? Uh, in my work, mm -hmm. I. ¿Cómo se dice esto? I start uh, work. I start work at eight a.m. Uh huh. And you finish work at nine 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 a.m. At nine a.m. Yeah, uh -huh. but I had to go out. To my in my, to my house at eight a.m. With traffic. <laughs> yeah, but mm -hmm. traffic. Mm -hmm. Um, I finish work at seven p.m. At seven. Yeah. That's very late. Uh, yeah, I have two day off. Mm, really. On, on week, yeah. When? Um, is rotate. It depends. Yeah. Depends. So it's not always the same day. Yeah. And what about the weekends? Do you work on the weekends? Okay. Uh, frequently work, but some weekends can can take a free free day. We can take your weekends off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's this great. Sunday. This Sunday will be my. Free day. Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, wow. Well, thank God uh, you've been practicing because, I mean, you seem to understand a lot and you seem to, to communicate your ideas pretty clear and very well at this level, of course, because I don't yes. want to push you because people say, okay, it's English or it's level one. So it's fine. It's great. Okay, related to the course, do you have any question, any doubts, any inconvenience, any problems? No. Everything clear. Because you are you were already familiar, right? Yeah. With English comparative methodology. That's yeah. nice. You've been working on the platform? No. Not yet. No, no, no. no I haven't not had yet. the time yet. Yeah. All right. To, to... Uh, tomorrow. Oh, you'll I make the time tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, that's yeah. nice. 
try to advance as much as you can so that you don't have any delayed assignment, all right? Yes. All right. Anything else I can help you with? Any question? Nothing. I think. All right. Perfect. Good night. Enjoy. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you.